All right. Well, today, I guess I'm going to binge The Expanse a little bit. Going to get some episodes in under my belt. Under my belt and not the belt in space. Uh, where we left off, we were going back to the butcher and we're going to see what kind of person, fellow, he is. Scares me, personally. Scares uh, Naomi. Scared. She's like, I've known men like him who are for a cause. And I'm assuming, I don't know who she's talking about, but is she alluding to him being just super gung-ho, beeline, uh, you know, put his blinders on and will do anything for the cause? Kind of like Christian. She'll do anything for Earth, right? I mean, she, she'll she do anything to get some answers and get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, I don't know. And then she threw her friend under the bus, right? We're gonna we're not going to forget that one. It's bad juju. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and move on to episode six. And I'm excited to figure out what's going on. I, I'm, I'm glad I paid attention to that mouse or that it was a hamster or whatever it was. I thought it was a hamster because uh, it doesn't have a tail. I don't think I saw it had a tail. But what information's in there? Was she hiding information? Is that why it was in that little data, the, the black data or whatever it was called, data noir? which is the same thing. Uh, well, but then now he's kidnapped. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's kidnapped and he kept it in his fedora and they put a bag over his head. And right after I was just praising him for putting it in his fedora. Now I'm, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I feel like my, my brain is blah, 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 blah. right now. My brain is just blah, 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 blah. just a little bit, just a little bit and there's so many like puzzle pieces there's so many puzzle pieces this all over here and i feel like i'm having a hard time keeping track of like what's going on where because it's a little bit insane let me tell you not i'm not complaining i'm just it's hard for me to like hone in because uh, i know i'm missing some things and there's so much to glean from everything because it's it's all out here and i'm just like it's, it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> It's all I'm saying. So I hope you can forgive me if I'm not being perfect over here. Uh, I mean, nobody is, but I'm just saying like, whoa, we're going to be in rock bottom. I don't know if this is the same rock bottom that SpongeBob was in. But <laughs> probably not. My guess is no. I don't know if you guys remember or if, or if people get that reference, but that was where uh, I think they talk and they go like a lot. They blow raspberries. <laughs> Hey, but before we begin, we're going to go ahead and do a shout out for my patrons. <laughs> Anyways, I have gone off the deep end. I'm sorry. So before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and cheers to you patrons. Thank you for being patient with me and dealing with this because I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully I provide enough entertainment for you and you enjoy. Enjoy. Before I embarrass myself further, I will go ahead and click on this and watch it. I don't work for you fine people anymore, so why am I being ambushed? Uh -huh. I need to borrow your spy on Tycho Station. Oh! What for? To keep an eye on Fred Johnson. Well, you can't have him. In mean, five years of sheep dipping in Johnson's outfit to steal tech for his competitors, it's worth a lot of money to me. What's sheep dipping? Yeah. I wonder oh. if they have ice cream in the snack shop. Kids, man, they absorb everything. You don't talk like that around kids. They will just... The and no. it's in there. I do my patriotic duty by screwing over Fred Johnson. Huh. Isn't that enough? How's your son, Esteban? Uh-oh. He's up for parole soon. And she's ruthless. You're really going to play that card? She's playing all the damn cards. You better believe <laughs> Just straight through the jugular. Yeah. I'd be happy to play some other time, Carlos. But I don't think she knows thing. any other way. Then help him move on. Let me help him. I don't think there's any other way she knows how to play. You know why I quit the intel desk? The people like her? I couldn't tell anymore if I was still working for the good guys. I'll go get the ice cream. You make the phone call. 
it's kind of hard to tell in this show. I don't really know who to root for. I mean, there's different characters that I like different bits of them. Like, I actually appreciate how ruthless she is. I mean, it's kind of like awe-inspiring. Would I want to have her as a friend? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Would I want to know her personally? Hell the fuck no. But as a character, she's intriguing. I'll just say that. James Holden, son of a bitch. Stay where you are. You either some kind of genius, Mr. Holden, or you the luckiest dipshit in the solar system. Why did you invite us here? You two were the only witnesses to a series of catastrophic events. You could be the key to stopping all our war. We're not the only witnesses. You were watching. Yeah, this is really crazy. James Holden looks like my dad when he was young, and it freaks me out. I don't like it. Not exactly what you're known for. I'll give you safe harbor. And I'll get rid of that ship for you. No one's getting rid of our ship. Russian vessels come through Tycho on a daily basis. Mm. If they see that frigate parked there, it's a bad day for me, too. I'm just a messenger. I have half a platoon of pissed off Martian Marines who are just itching for some payback. As a Corvette class Martian frigate that typically crews 30, I only see two of you. That tells me that you're trying hard to hide your numbers. Tactically, if there were more, as a show of force, you would have brought them out. I'm guessing there are two to four people left on your ship, and I'm confident that there's no Martian Navy on board. If they were, they'd be out here speaking with me now. You walked off that ship because you're in charge. At least you think you are. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have broadcast your transponder and your position to the entire system. Coming here mm. was your only option. Now. You want to continue to play games? Yeah, there you go. that guy is good. Talk about how to I don't think people are how they get so good. <laughs> I'm just super naive, so I'd be like freaking uh, what's his face with a with a with a cactus, just giving out plants to everybody. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, this guy. Oh, I had a feeling it would be fucking him, man. Just to show, like. He better deliver that, uh, he better deliver that information. You don't fuck with this guy. I had to let that stinking animal Kalfari go. They're going to have a nice long talk, you and I. Oh, God. How long He's going to convince him. Convince. I don't even know if I said that I was suspecting him. I might have, I might not have, but I was. Setting the last charge now, Uncle Mateo. Well, hurry up, or you'll be back stealing water on series. You street rat. Time to make some money, bitch, Wow, I didn't know you could go. I mean, I knew you could go for a short period. That seemed pretty long. It didn't seem rushed to close that. The Doninger and the Cant were attacked by the same class of stealth warships. You will have to testify. Testify? To the UN Security Council. You mean the one that you and the OPA aren't allowed into? You'll open that door for me. You want to use me to get yourself a seat at the table? Oh. It's okay to be a pawn, Holden. So long as you're on the right side. Maybe you know exactly where those ships came from. Maybe I have no idea. Mm. Pretty big boat you're building out there. A small fleet of cell ships wouldn't be impossible. I'm not gonna debate with you. We're going back to our ship now. I'm afraid you can't go back to the ship. It sounds like he doesn't like it, but I'm taking control of the Tachi right now. The hell you Freeze, are. Right there. Those guns can't help you anymore. You sure? Oh God. Yeah, that's true. Put the gun down. You don't want to test this particular guy. I've raised and buried your kind by the hundreds. Not my kind. Broken boys. Quick to the trigger. Slow on the uptake. Go ahead, son. Pull it. Pull it'll cut right through me. But there'll be countless OPA brothers and sisters standing behind me. They will hunt you going? Who's this guy? The belt. Holden, tell the butcher to call off his men, or I'll have Alex vent his bloody station. How's it going out there? Oh. oh. We have a problem. 
Why did you go back to Julian Mao's apartment? I'm gonna come clean. Embarrassing, but uh, it's smelling our panties. I like a shower. I thought he was gonna say something <laughs> funny. <laughs> I went really dirty yeah. though. Hey, hey. Good. I don't care so much what happened to this girl. You are the station joke. I did my homework. Yeah. Are they gonna find it? But Star Helix knows I'm on you, so. Oh. You don't wanna be careful how far you wanna take this. I don't think he gives a fuck. Should be in the black fate right now, buying each other rounds, talking future plans. Try it on. Your head's big enough. We and are find it for something precious here, Mila. You create a bunch of chaos. You stir shit up so you can ride in and save I have no the day, idea right? how close we are, huh? I am talking about independence. Yeah. With you as governor, <laughs> that scapula disaster is a dead fish on your doorstep. <laughs> you keep missing the point. That's why you got to make the Mao case disappear. You're in love with Julie Mao. I mean, would you? They really thought that would work? You locked down the net? Yeah, yeah. Then why is my money floating away? Sabang! When we secure the hall, half will be lost. I'll barely make enough to cover the trip. Attention, Ping Long. This is MCRN Scipio uh -oh. Conus. Power down and prepare to be boarded. Spotted a ship for an OPA recon mission out of Ceres, which disappeared. The name of that ship is the Scopuli. That's right. I need this frigate to retrieve the lone survivor, Lionel Polanski. Who? It's a code name. We received a set of coordinates from him a short time after the disaster. He would know more than anyone else about what started this and who's behind it. There's got to be another ship you can send. I need a gunship. It's getting hot out there, and the OPA's got nothing like this. I'll pick up your operator. You're too valuable as a witness. If you get killed... The other three saw just as much as I did. You and I both want the same thing. To do right by our people. Hands where I can see them. Transporting any weapons? No. What's the problem, Bozeman? Shorsha transponder. It says she has expired. We're gonna have to AO-66 you. When you arrive on Euros, your cargo will be held under lien until your fines are paid. Why are you doing this, huh? Impound our hull. There's nothing left for your tax man, Jose. Oh, are we being too hard on you? You set up your zone cells where we can and cannot go. You living belly full with your glass palaces while half my people are starving to death? How is this justice? You skinnies want to take credit for blowing up the Donager. We'll give you justice with both hands. What are we going to blow up your big Martian worship with, huh? Little pebbles. So why would he lie about the scabby lying? Get himself tangled up in this mess. You're out of your ever loving mind. You think you can trust that guy? Look, I only committed myself. How do you know he's not going to space you the second you get out? Because there? you're going to rig the rocks. You saw the only response to my command. For God's sake. So what is this? Goodbye. To see you later, sort of, maybe. All that's waiting out there for you. Really? <laughs> so he'll be in home. Because this is my fault. Oh, is he going to confess? I logged a distress call in the camp. I'm glad we cleared this up. I knew. Holden did the right thing. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Julie Ma. <laughs> Is she alive? She chose to be OPA because she believed that what we are fighting for is just. You took an innocent kid and you forced her to do your dirty work. No, she came to me, asked me to help her. She knew what she was doing. I trusted you. She put herself in your hands because she couldn't see the blood on him. Hmm. Just like your sister. Is that right? 
Wasn't she like 15 when you let her die out on the belt? Oh. Sure. It's part of the legend you like to leave. Oh, out. I'm surprised he didn't kick him in the face for that. I doubt that. She was your sister. She relied on you to keep her safe. Would you like me to tell you the real story? I'm sure you told oh, some lies about it. You don't what's even the story? know what happened. I want to know. Spill the tea. Was touched by the hand of God. The most beautiful child in all the belt. The smartest. But she was fragile. Her bones were like chalk from spending a lifetime in zero mm. G. An impossible burden for a dirt poor family of rock hoppers. And when she became too ill even to travel, I had three other sisters to think about. Our family was starving. So you killed her. And that makes me a monster. Ooh. There was no script to bury him. So I laid her to rest in a beautiful bauxite tunnel that we discovered together. Do you know, is is possible to cry so hard uh, that your tears turn to blood. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> if that's real. I came to realize that I have millions uh, of brothers and sisters in the belt. I even count you among them. Yeah, he did. As I did Julie and Eartha. Everybody dies for the cause. Mm. Except for you. Now I tell you the truth about Julie. If she was here right now, she'd spit in your face. Mm. You are everything she despised. A belter who preys on his own kind. Die as you lived. Guess he didn't figure find the thing. It's like a gnarly, it's like a mercy killing that he did with his sister. That's a real story. Like suicide by doctor, but he's not a doctor. Uh. It's beyond my own comprehension. It's just rough, dude. He opened the hat? What? what, what? Just left him? Oh my god. Oh, he's just gonna fucking die out there. Oh my god, dude. He's a private citizen, Christian. He can't go squeezing his berries. I politely asked to borrow his Squeezing his berries, bags. sorry. Why are you interested in Fred Johnson? He has blood on his hands and wants redemption. While Earth and Mars throw sand in each other's faces, the OPA rises in the belt. Tycho spins up huh. asteroids. The Donager was destroyed by advanced stealth warships. And Fred Johnson is building the largest spacecraft in human history. You'd have to be siphoning off resources on a massive scale. I'm surprised she pivoted so quick to him, but okay. Was carrying a south composites. I mean, she was like this and then went burp. Are you going to shut me down? Straight to him. Not to him, but straight to Fred Johnson. The OPA killed your son. You sure this oh. is personal? Oh. You're damn right it's personal. All right. You're keeping in the loop. I always like these space clubs. They're always so different. I, I don't know why. I just really like the vibe. They are, they're all so... I don't know why. I'm Daniel. I'm not interested, Daniel. Tell me. How do they treat you here? And the others say it's better than most. That bucker, ogling you, he's packing a knife on his left hip. 
Thanks. Mm. What are you, the union rep? Mm. I grew up in places like this. Oh, are we getting a backstory? I wouldn't have figured that. <laughs> must have been rough. No, nah, it's fine. Yeah, I guess you must have been as happy as a puppy with two peckers, right? <laughs> I didn't mean I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> like what? I'm gonna stop talking. Two more, please. <laughs> what kind it's of phrase was living. that? It's more honest than most. Oh, I didn't even get what they you were insinuating. Lot, lot of place by how they treat their people. Fair enough. Oh, I was wow. Uh, that whole thing went over my head. <laughs> Go on. It'd be good for you. Uh, Sorry. Oh, come on. You're not married. What makes you say that? Like I said, I grew up in places like this. I was married. My brass said I didn't have what it takes to fly the badass gunships. I will tell you one thing. Flying the Rocinante back there. I had a feeling. Best yeah, because he was like, oh, I'm a glorified bus driver. And he was like, he was really excited about driving this. I think I might have misinterpreted some of the things that they had said in that scene. And uh, I, I don't know. I think I was I was thinking of an innocent with an innocent mind, and it was not innocent. Not as innocent. My mind was. A lot of Martians gave their lives getting us onto this ship. In the heat of the battle, they fought to get you off the Donager. Are there any bodies we need to take care of? Lieutenant Lopez. He's in the rear hole. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he's frozen, though. He died for us. I'll make sure his body's returned to Mars. Is he, he's really that nice? This guy's really nice like this? You all right? I mean, she doesn't trust him, so... Relax. You're ready to fail safe, right? They try to access any areas that they shouldn't, and the Rosie's core will self-destruct. <laughs> You feel confident? Come on. You don't look confident. Do their thing. We'll go ahead and drink in the crew lounge. Oh god, this guy. Oh now he's gonna do have done what he did to the other dude. That sucks. Oh no. Oh. Uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh god, oh I don't like this, I don't like this. Oh thank god he I thought you were gonna get crushed for a sec. Uh, uh, I don't know what's worse though. <laughs> you escape the pan and jump into the fire, basically, right? Isn't that that's kind of the saying? Uh It's his friend. Oh, it's his other friend. I thought it was his other the cactus man. Oh, thank God for her, man. Good God. Uncle Mateo. Oh, he can actually hear him. Up. Oh, my God. We'll be okay. You can only live so long. With a boot to our necks, that's okay. Someone will find you out there. We'll be okay. Someday, Uncle. things gonna change. We'll be okay, Uncle. Opa. We'll be okay. The man's gonna stand up. No. He did? You left him? Oh my god, that's gotta be fucking scary as shit. Oh, like it reminds me it's like it, it freaks me out to be like in the open ocean and you're by yourself and just to think how deep it is and how many like, oh, it's just I can't even imagine. It's got to be like that, but 10 gazillion times worse where you're just like. Alone. But not alone, but alone. In the ocean, I don't feel alone. I feel like alone, but scared of creatures. We're going to miss you, pal. Wherever you are, I hope no one there needs medical attention. Mm-hmm. I'm saying. Cheers. 
Or Yam Yam crazy, saying, is that what she said? Crazy bastards, you got us off the Donager. Hey. Got a little respect. I have nothing but respect. Then what's your problem? Gung Out with it. Hypnotized by a uniform. Fanatics, religious freaks. Mm. Those Marines go to save themselves. Gone home to their families. Instead of coming back for us. Well, it did take some convincing. That is true. I know it was because of you. Why did you come back for us? Well, you're only there because of me. Why? Would you have come back for me? At the time, with all those bullets flying? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What's in that little... SD card he collected. Clearly they didn't know that was there. Do it. Oh. 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 Guy is bionic. He's one of those those I don't even know what they called him. He was investigating the other the one guy who's like just full of shit. I never killed anyone before. Oh no. Oh, give her a cold towel on the back of her neck and rub her back. There you go. Just a reaction. You know, my third year on the job. I caught this skinny. He's from the lower levels. He's gabbed his old lady by the hair. He's waving his piece around. Drink. You know how they tell you in basic? Either somebody who can pull the trigger or you ain't. Well, you and me are the same. I don't know if that's the pep talk she needed. I killed him, all right. I don't think that's what she needs to hear, friend. The iron smell of it that got me. Where was there, little girl? And I'm sure glad that he's not my friend, because that's... You know, every time you remember something... Your mind changes it just a little until your best and your worst memories are your biggest illusions. My advice is just forget it. No. And make yourself forget it. Appreciate that. That's terrible advice. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, he's trying, I guess. I don't, I don't know. What do you say to that? Mm -mm. Don't do, don't do sex. Don't do it. Don't do it because you're in pain. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. I thought that was going to end right there, and I was like, fuck no. I man, I, I made it not happen with my mind. Not allowed to end. I do use the force. <laughs> what is this? I'll spare us a speech. The ship's ready. I guess I'll uh, put on some coffee. His new, his new, his new addiction. Coffee. You people drive a hard bargain. You got a recorded statements. We'll bring your Lionel Polanski home, if he's out there. In return, I want you to help me find someone. Someday I'll come to you with a name. Mm. No questions asked. I'll do what I can. Hmm. The person that she wished she could have said goodbye to? Yeah. It's not dormant, it's giving off heat. I'm seeing molecular reactions, vibrational resonances all across the spectrum. Can you hear me? Look at this thing. What the hell am I looking at? I'm looking at, uh, I don't know, some kind of bioweapon? Where'd this recording come from? Phoebe. That's what I think. Oh. Phoebe Station. I meant where'd you get it? Julie Mao. She bought that. Oh, yeah. Book. She gave it to Dawes. Dawes crewed up this black bag ship, 
which vanishes with all souls. And that's she opens then, up a thing. The data broker ends up dead. And ships start blowing up. Yeah, and then pulling the strings. No. <sighs> Let's play it through. Scientists on Phoebe discover something, something big. Who are the, who are the scientists lying with? The OPA gets wind of it. They send a crew out to steal it. Mission goes south, which leaves someone with a lot of power, a lot of resources, who do anything to keep it quiet, including starting a war. Is it Christian? That man, he holds the key. We need to get a sample of Phoebe. Now. You tell anyone about this? No, just you. What about this? Copies? Yes, lots of them. No. Bunches. Encrypted. You can't, you can't copy it. Erase Detective Miller's case files and cancel all his clearances. What are you doing? Uh huh. You're fired. Oh, my Lanta. He bought you. Get out. Oh, my Lanta! What do you mind? So the whole police force. I'm tired of speaking to a child. You know, I'm tired of That is called stonewalling, my friends. Help Mr. Miller find the door. <laughs> if he gives you any problems, feel free to shoot him. Oh, uh, no, bueno. Well, I was not expecting that. I mean, it was kind of curious why she just, like, wrote off the whole thing, but I didn't think it was to that extent fucking tragic and then for him to just be like just go here i mean i guess you trust your boss or whatever but mm -mm. no i'm making ten thousand different copies if it's encrypted i'm gonna figure out a way i don't know I'm not handing it over to her i'm leaving her a fake chip i don't know i don't know man i guess you can because he's showing her shit i don't know man it's just ugh. i'm grasping at straws here and i'm missing <laughs> Oh, get some coffee. All right, they're bonding here. Control. This is gas freighter Rocinante requesting clearance for departure. The flight plan has been filed. A little hesitant. Will be crossing three Martian trade zones. The likelihood of encountering MCR in patrols is high. Where is his wife and kid? Hmm? Are they on Mars? I feel like we took a sip at the same time. Well, they survived. At least. Fucking shit. Okay, so I just finished, what is this? Episode six, season one, and this one's rock bottom. And <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about that. That scene in the club, I thought he was just talking to some randos. And then after they talked about it a little bit more, it seems more so that they were uh, sex workers. And that was not apparent to me, but it was apparent to Amos. And he was just lending a helpful uh, tidbit to it. Did he work as a, was he a sex worker at one point? I, I was so like flabbergasted about the sex worker bit, but I missed that uh, Alex had said that he wasn't even married. And Amos was able to read that. I mean, that was like, Oh, I mean, he is good at, at at reading that stuff. I mean, that's like on another level of, um, I don't know, intuition. I don't know. I don't know what you would what, what you would call that, but that's that's. I mean, the more how are all these people learning all this stuff? Him, Christian, I guess Anderson's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Anderson's pretty good, and then and even Johnson. You know, I mean, all these people are just like, I would be shitting bricks and being like, I don't know, here's a cactus. Uh, just let me be happy, please, for the love of God. Like, I just don't have the stomach for this type of stuff. I'm gonna lie. I'm not just laying it out there. I don't. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious that they've grown up around this type of stuff, so that's why they've gotten so good, I guess, and grown up around shit and been cultivated to get to this point. So, really, it's kind of like a survival of the fittest, you know, because of their circumstances, their environmental circumstances around them. Uh, it's kind of made them developed or they've already had this development this, this ability within them and it's just kind of like it's refined it a lot more than uh it probably would have if they've grown up in paradise and had no worries or cares right 
I guess it's kind of the unfortunate thing. I think they, what's the phrase is uh, to make a diamond, you need pressure. And so these, these people are under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. They're surviving by any means necessary, all of them. So it's just, wow, uh, right on, right? I mean, this whole time, I feel like I don't know who the good guys are. I really don't know who to go for, who to rally behind. I mean, these people in the Tide Pod, <laughs> I keep calling it that, the people who were in the Canterbury that escaped, they're innocent, right? They don't know anything. They're just now putting everything together. Uh, I mean, obviously even like Detective Miller, he got blindsided over there. He's innocent. Uh, and then who the fuck is Lionel Polanski? I guess he doesn't know about Julie. What's his face? Uh, Johnson. So is, is that's a code name. Is she Johnson? Or is she Polanski? But then if that's the case, I don't know, I'm overthinking, I think. But yeah, and that story about Anderson killing his sister and why he killed her. I mean, Miller is like kind of a, insinuating that maybe perhaps you cannot believe him. He's distrustful. I mean, oh, I mean, he's like, a he's a, he's who he is. He's a little gangster. He's a, a terrorist, if you will. Of course, you have to take some, probably some things with a grain of salt, but if that is like 100% the true story, man, that, that, that's, that is rough to make a decision like that. I can't even fathom. I can't relate. I can't, I can, if it's a true story, I can see it, but it's like, ooh. It kind of reminds me for whatever reason, like when, like I feel like, I want to say even in the Holocaust, but I think women would, ooh, and it's kind of graphic, like they would, take care of their babies uh, to prevent, you know, like they would like force abortion or they would try to go like, do, do, you know, you know what I mean? You know the road I'm going down and I don't even want to talk about it because it's like, oh, it's just really dark, dark and sad. It's just unfathomable, man. It's just on another fucking level. I mean, it, it just reminds you of how like desperate life can get at times. And out of that, out of those moments, you do d desperate things. And it really kind of humbles you, even though this is a, a not real space, a not real thing. Uh, but it, it kind of reminds you like things are rough out there for a lot of people. Uh, people have to do some desperate things, man, to survive. And who are you to judge, right? I don't even know, man. Ooh, oh, I don't even know. And now it seems like they're all uh, the four musketeers now. <laughs> going to be four. They're going to go off all together and, and hopefully find this Lionel, man, because they need to figure out what the hell happened. Everybody and their mom is trying to figure out what the frig happened to the Scopuli slash Canterbury slash whatever that one is called. Don Doniger. Is that what it's called? The Doniger? Everybody and their mom is trying to figure it out. Oh, and then something I never asked. The the guy, the belter, uh, who was doing the asteroid thing, the uncle, I forget his name. Uh, he, what the hell was that thing that he took out of his helmet? Like, he like opened up his helmet, risked the vacuum of space to pull this out and shut it again. And like, what? Oh, what, what the fuck was that? What was that? Why would you do that? And he, he seemed pretty nonchalant about it, which is odd to me. I mean, wouldn't that be like the last thing you would want to do? Wouldn't you want to not expose yourself to that? It's cold as fuck. You can't breathe. Your body cannot function. Anyways, so I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.